the operation of our government and our democracy. The company is under investigation for its involvement in politics and government in France. They've had to pay financial penalties for their role in facilitating uh, the sale of opioids into the United States of America that helped deliver a massive um, drug overdose crisis that is now spread into Canada. And then finally, the, C, the director, uh, former director of this company, managed to get himself uh, the gig as our ambassador to China. So it's time for Canadians to get answers. We need to know what this money was for. Suspicions are brewing in federal opposition parties, and that suspicion is geared towards the Trudeau-led government and its connection with the consulting firm McKinsey & Company. Especially now that the fact the Liberal government has paid the firm a huge part of taxpayers' money, totaling $66 million, is out in the open. We are aware of Trudeau's reckless spending of public funding, but something about this particular issue indicates there is more than meets the eye, and you will see why as we go on. On Tuesday, the Conservative Party of Canada leader Pierre Poiliev said that his party is prepared to submit a motion to the House Committee on Government Operations and Estimates. The motion will require Trudeau's government to hand over all written records related to McKinsey. These include contracts, conversations, work done, meetings, text messages, and email exchanges. In his words, it's time for Canadians to get answers. We need to know what this money was for and what influence McKinsey has had in our government. And it is time for Canadian taxpayers to have answers to these questions. He continued by saying, everything that the government has done with the company since taking office should be made public so that we can study all of these facts and hold the government accountable. Trudeau has had a history of scandals involving fishy giant corporations and wealthy people. It would not be completely out of line to assume that there's something fishy going on between the government and the firm, especially when you consider the fact that the previous government before Trudeau spent far less on the firm than Trudeau is doing now. Radio Canada revealed last week that Trudeau's government had spent 30 times more on federal contracts than Stephen Harper's government. The Liberals have been caught several times trying to use their offices to enrich their friends and families, with many of them breaking the ethics code in the process. The statistics from Radio Canada show that Harper's government spent $2.2 million on McKinsey between the years 2006 to 2015, but as soon as Trudeau came into power, that figure more than quadrupled. More than a third of the contracts, which amount to $24.5 million, went to the Federal Immigration Department. The difference between Harper's government and whatever Trudeau is doing now continues to be completely mind-boggling. The sheer amount of what this consulting firm has earned from a single man's administration strongly hints that there is an unholy alliance with the Prime Minister or the Liberal Party. Which of these is the answer? We can only hope to find out. The Bloc Coupet Qua and the NDP have confirmed they will support the Conservative motion, ensuring enough votes to pass it. In a separate press conference, Yves Francois Blanchet, the Bloc leader, said his party is committed to finding answers to the federal contracts being given to McKinsey and company by the federal government. He said his party is focused on helping the committee find the important answers Canadians need about how Trudeau spends their money. He said, basically, what I see is that this government cannot be left alone. It has to be under scrutiny all the time because it has some really bad habits. Besides, reports have indicated that there are still ongoing federal contracts. Thus, the final amount spent by the federal government on McKinsey is unknown. This means that the previously mentioned sum of $66 million does not represent what has been spent. But take a minute to digest this sum. Here, we have a company that has probably gulped more than $66 million of taxpayers' money for a job or jobs that we, the people, do not even see. What is the firm doing that is so important to Trudeau that he is willing to depart with over $66 million of taxpayers' money? And this is while there are other consulting firms that would most likely do whatever consultation McKinsey is doing for far less. It will be quite infuriating and saddening if, in the end, it is discovered that there was foul play in this matter and that the government has been spending taxpayers' money for the fun of it. That the Trudeau administration willingly and recklessly spends the hard-earned money of toiling Canadians on something dubious and beneficial only to the top government officials. Matthew Green, the NDP critic for ethics, said that his party supports a full parliamentary committee investigation into the millions of dollars McKinsey has received from the federal government, but that includes both liberal and conservative governments. In his words, Canadians have to be able to trust that their money is being spent to benefit real people and not just align the pockets of wealthy consultants who buddy up to liberals and conservatives. I understand that the NDP is trying to play an equality game by saying both liberals and conservatives be investigated. Still, the suspect of foul play at the moment is the Liberal Party, especially Trudeau's government. Meanwhile, sources from the Immigration Department told Radio Canada they believe that the firm has a massive influence on Ottawa's recent immigration targets, 
which are set to reach 500,000 annually by 2025, because the targets are similar to the conclusions of a 2016 report led by Dominic Barton, then McKinsey's global managing director. It would interest you to know that when Barton left McKinsey in 2018, he was immediately made Canada's ambassador to China, a position he left in 2021 to head Rio Tinto Mining Company, where he serves as chairman. This bit of information sheds a new, particularly disturbing light on the issue. What qualification did Barton possess that made Trudeau appoint him as our country's ambassador to China? This is one clear case of a liberal supporter being rewarded for whatever dirty work he did for the government during his time at McKinsey. It is interesting to note that McKinsey has been embroiled in a series of scandals recently, with one being its payment of nearly $600 million in settlement for its role in the opioid crisis in the United States. This was after hundreds of U.S. local governments and school districts claimed it fueled an epidemic of opioid addiction through its work for bankrupt OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma and other drug companies. But the firm still faces claims by health insurance plans, Native American tribes, and families of children exposed to opioids in the womb, which can cause withdrawal symptoms at birth and long-term health and developmental problems. Cases have been filed in multiple states but are consolidated before U.S. District Judge Charles Breyer in San Francisco for pretrial proceedings. The firm is also being investigated by French prosecutors who believe McKinsey influenced the campaign of the French President Emmanuel Macron. On November 24, 2022, the French National Financial Prosecutor's Office confirmed they were investigating the close relationship between the American firm, McKinsey, and the French President, Macron. The French Ministry of Justice took an interest in McKinsey following a report conducted by the French Senate Investigative Committee on the consulting firm's role. The legislative arm took the matter to court in March 2022, saying that the testimony of McKinsey executives before the committee, that they had paid corporate taxes, was false. As it has been found, the French president has had long-standing links with the McKinsey firm dating back to 2008. Yet this is the same firm Trudeau is deeply involved with. Well, with these scandals of the firm out in the open, the liberal government cannot claim to have been blind to them. Hence, something fishy is indeed going on. Pauli, Ev, and Blanchett said they had many questions about McKinsey's role in the federal government and how much it is costing Canadians who are already paying taxes for services meant to be delivered by federal public servants. Matthew Green said... Canada has a strong public service who can do this work at a fraction of the cost, so there's no reason for Trudeau to choose to hand buckets of money to his billionaire CEO friends instead. This is part of a sustained campaign to undermine our public service workers. The Liberals should be ashamed of themselves. When Pauliev was met by John Ivison of the National Post and asked if he would reduce the costs of consultants or the public service should he form a government, the conservative leader said he would definitely be reducing the costs of consulting. In his words, when you have qualified public servants to do the job, you shouldn't be contracting the same work to high-priced consultants who can charge hundreds of dollars an hour. But while the move by the federal opposition parties is commendable, it is also worthy of note that getting clear answers in a parliamentary committee might prove challenging. A similar request for documents related to the ArriveCan app has been either difficult to obtain or has been heavily redacted due to confidentiality reasons. But that notwithstanding, the opposition parties have promised to call for a public and independent inquiry if they don't get answers. What are your thoughts on the shady dealings between the Trudeau government and the McKinsey firm? Do you think the opposition parties and Canadians will get what they need from the House Committee? Please leave your answers in the comments section down below. We would love to know what you think. There's a Telegram group where we can discuss matters of national importance without fear of being censored. The link to the group is in the description. We would love to have you. We would greatly appreciate it if you leave us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new or haven't yet and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.